It's time to feel bad for anyone who just bought a BlackBerry Z10. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. BlackBerry is preparing to launch a brand new flagship smartphone this holiday season. CNET has learned that this all touchscreen phone will be called the A10. Don't forget, the Z10 just went on sale in the U.S. a little over two months ago, and BlackBerry is already updating it. Oh, and the model with the physical keyboard, the BlackBerry Q10, that just went on sale at U.S. stores this week. With another top-of-the-line touchscreen, this is BlackBerry trying to drive home the message that it can move beyond keyboards to compete with the top smartphones today and by updating the model so quickly you'll probably see the Z10 go on sale and that means the company can target customers shopping at different price points. There's not much detail yet about the A10 but we do know that Sprint will sell it in November and that's not the only way BlackBerry is expanding. A BlackBerry executive has said the company is working on getting the BlackBerry Messenger service app preloaded on phones from other manufacturers. The BlackBerry Messenger app will also be available to download from the iOS and Android app stores this summer. Messaging apps are very very popular right now and BlackBerry wants a part of that action since after all it used to be the king of the messaging apps. Looking ahead there is going to be a ton of news coming your way next week. The big video game Expo E3 begins Monday and we'll get more details about the new Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Microsoft goes first with a press conference at 9:30 a.m. Pacific 12:30 Eastern and we hope Microsoft will talk more about games for this next generation console and the big question on everyone's mind how exactly will this fee for used games work? And later on Monday, Sony will finally show us what the PS4 will actually look like. Oh, but that's not all, kids. The same time Microsoft is having its press conference, Apple will be having a keynote event at its developers conference, and we expect to see updates to its operating systems, as well as a few other surprises. It's possible Apple might talk about iRadio, the streaming music service it's working on. There's also speculation that Apple will introduce new MacBooks, and maybe, just maybe, a new iPad. The case maker Gumdrop is so confident that Apple will introduce the next iPad that it's already selling cases based on sources that have leaked specs, which say the new iPad would have a thinner bezel like the iPad mini. I guess we'll have to wait and see if Gumdrop just wasted a bunch of money or if they were right. The Apple announcement begins at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. You can follow the live coverage of these events at CNET on Monday, and as always, I'll be giving you the quick summary of the news in CNET Update. That's your Tech News Roundup from our studios in New York. I'm Bridget Carey.